What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Nasty J, and today I'm bringing you a video going to explain to you how to get Zedge, the app Zedge, to work in iTunes and on your iPhone. Okay, so a lot of issues that everybody's been talking about, even myself, is how to get Zedge to work, how to sync up with your iPhone when you install it to your Windows computer. So there's an easy fix for that, so I'm going to keep it short and sweet. After you download the Zedge for on your PC and uh, install it, um, then uh, it comes up and tells you to you know connect your iPhone. You connect your iPhone, uh, then it opens up iTunes. Uh, but down in the right hand corner on Windows PC, it'll come up and say that there's an error connecting to iTunes. Uh, that it'll keep trying, but it will never it will never connect. Well, the answer to that is that you need to go into Program Files. And you need to copy and okay, so go into program files, go into iTunes, then copy iTunes resources, and then go back, go into program files 86, and go into iTunes, and then paste that into the iTunes folder there. So you're just moving over iTunes resource folder and copying it, and you're just making another duplicate copy into the program files 86 on your computer. Uh, once you do that, then it should automatically sync with iTunes and it should start working. Uh, there's plenty of videos out there, even on the Zedge app, that shows you how to you know, get the ringtones and stuff like that. So if anybody wants a video on how to um, sync up your iTunes to get the ringtones, how they're automatically saved, how you can actually get the ringtones over Wi-Fi uh, when they sync up, so you just say download and it's automatically on your phone instead of having to plug in the cable uh, into your computer and syncing with iTunes. I do it manually um, just because I just want to make sure what I'm putting on there is what I want. Um, but yeah, that's the easy fix. So I'll go ahead and shoot over and show you the video on uh, what everything looks like, the Zedge app, all that, and how to move it over and stuff like that. Alright, so when you go to the Zedge um, and download for your Windows PC, you'll download it. It'll pop up on your desktop. You can double click it. It'll come down here in your system tray. And you can right click over it. And it'll give you a list of options. And then it'll say it cannot sync to iTunes. iTunes should pop up when you click it, but it'll say that it can't sync for you. When that happens, that's because you need to come here. You need to either click on your uh, Windows Explorer right here, or go to the Start menu, go to My Computer. You want to go to the C drive, you want to go to Program Files, and double click to open that up. Then you want to go down to iTunes. Right here you see iTunes Resources, you want to right click, you want to copy, then you want to go back, hit the back button here, back button, you want to go to Program Files 86, double click, you want to go down to iTunes, double click there, and then you want to paste it in there. You see it's up, mine's already in there, iTunes resources. Bam, once you do that, it'll automatically sync up down here. It'll start the process and it'll walk you through the process like normal. Don't know what this issue is. I don't know why Zedge hasn't talked about it yet on uh, on their you know help of like using that as a, uh, a workaround, but whatever, it works. So there you go.